you can rest assured of your child's excellent performance when you register your child with Gen and Schools, Bombo Karule Campus, and Kabalagala. Due to their firm educational background, we have the best facilities in both arts and sciences, fully updated to the latest sector standards, right from senior one to senior six, in an environment that offers a chance to apply practical skills in all fields. That include a computer lab, introducing our students to the tech world, a well-organized science laboratory, a fully stocked library with all the essential books a student may need, a model farm to equip students with all the basic knowledge in agriculture plus extra vocational skills. We promote co-curricular activities in sports like badminton, table tennis, basketball, volleyball, chess, and many more other activities. Register your child today at both campuses in Bombo Kalule and Kabalagala campus. For more information, contact us on the numbers below. took center stage in the activities of the council uh, when we hosted that uh, uh, second uh, anniversary of the African and Arab Youth Festivals in Uganda in Munyonyo. That's when Uganda took, uh, took over as patron, President Seven took over as patron. Also, the youth requested the president that uh, Uganda hosts the international headquarters of the Afro-Arab Youth Council uh, uh, here in, in Uganda. So, uh, over time, one, the, the president, when he received uh, his, uh, at his inauguration, inaugural speech as the patron, uh, welcomed the idea of the council being hosted in Uganda and donated some land for the construction of the headquarters. We informed you last time that the headquarters would consist of five projects. Uh, the, the, uh, the office block, uh, that can be available to the council, but also to other organizations to earn some money for the council. Uh, two is a stadium, uh, about 20-seater stadium. Three is the University of Science and Technology. Uh, four is a cultural heritage center. And five is a, uh, is a, uh, the five is a hotel and recreational facilities for young people. As on behalf, on the side of Uganda, the land that was promised has been delivered. Where we are at now, uh, the council is in the process of uh, uh, engaging with the, the other Afro-Arab Youth Council member countries to make sure that the money is raised to have the construction done. And I need to confirm to you that really many, some of the countries interested in the support are already upbeat with it. The lead person in the fundraising, His Excellency the President, who is the patron, and of the council and custodian of the secretariat. And we're optimistic that about $150 million will be raised in the effort to have the council constructed, the council headquarters constructed as a council. We are holding the 20th anniversary activities here in Uganda. Normally we run an, a, a, an activity week running from maybe 1st to, to 10th of, uh, of, of March because the, found, the founding date was 9th of March and we always keep it because it's a memorial time. It's a time to remember the last time a, a, a summit was held between the African and Arab countries. So this year, the activities are on. Uh, uh, in a special way, we would like the public to know the Afro-Arab Youth Council over time has, has grown to, to engage in a host country agreement with the government of Uganda, but also now enjoys greater relations with other similar organizations. One of these is the ISESCO, the World Islamic uh, Cultural Educational Scientific Organization. The, you can say the UNESCO of the Islamic world that is housed in Rabat, uh, Morocco. The Director General, uh, Dr. Malik, will be here in person to preside at the 20th anniversary of the Afro-Arab Youth Council. We want to take advantage of uh, this anniversary to highlight the plight of young people with mental health issues. So on 4th, we'll be at Makere. Uh, after the intergenerational dialogue, in the afternoon, we have a fireside chat, which is a leadership or mentorship program uh, presided over by a number of those guests coming, but we'll also still be at Makere at Mary Stewart. We are in liaison with Makere University, who would like to honor uh, Professor Lumumba when he comes. Because you also know that uh, one of the halls of residence of Makerele 
has been named after Lumumba. So it's a great moment. Uh, it's, a, it's, a great, it's, a, it's an emotional moment for both Makerere, AYC, but also for, for the world that uh, Professor Lumumba is here in the footsteps of his father, but they will take advantage of that fireside chat to recognize uh, uh, him. On Tuesday, oh, sorry, on, on, on 5th, yeah, which is Tuesday actually, we'll have the program of mental health at, uh, at Kampala International University, during which we'll be able to highlight the plight of young people with uh, mental health issues. I know you as members of the press are aware that uh, most people have not given great attention to young people with uh, mental health issues, and many young people uh, are perishing. Uh, they are dying quietly. And if you interact with the number of, even those you call the rich people, their children have ended up into, uh, they, have, they are in uh, alcoholism, in drug abuse, just like the others. And it's a big issue that we want to highlight. Uh, in liaison with the leadership of Kampala International University, we have invited the First Lady uh, 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 to give the keynote address with the Director General and the other guests that will be there. Uh, after that, we'll be able to visit Utavika Hospital to see uh, what the ISESCO can do with Utavika to support the, the, the issues of young people with, uh, with mental health issues. On, on, the, on the 6th, which is a Wednesday, we will be interacting.